This is going to be my review of the Crimson Trace Rad Pro. Uh, this is the green version. That is a six minute of angle green dot in there. Not sure if it will focus. Uh, have roughly 500 rounds through the site, uh, 1500 total on the Prodigy setup here. Uh, the idea behind this was to um, ultimately this gun is going to have a, a Halo Sun EPS mounted on it um, but figured with the uh, mount the 13B AOS plate that came with the gun um, figured I'd try to find something that uh, took that doctor uh, footprint um, pro so far top loading battery um, Obviously, to me, in a full-size um, footprint, uh, RMR, Doctor, and the such, um, top loading is a must. We shouldn't be taking our optics off to have to put batteries on. Even with the excellent battery life that these things produce nowadays, um, it, it's still just silly to have to do that. Um, this here is a see if it will focus, uh, is a front sight, uh, sorry, front mounted ambient light sensor. There you go. Um, works very well. Uh, transitioning, uh, transition speed is, is fairly quick. Um, I don't really have any bad things to say about it. Um, reviews where people are saying that the auto dimming or auto light adjustment is not working um, it's not listed anywhere in the manual but uh, basically to turn that setting on um, you hold the uh, increase and decrease brightness buttons for about three seconds and you will see the optic flash three times um, I'll try to get some video of that include it here in this review. Um, as far as cons go, I, I don't have any. Um, if you are going to mount this on a Prodigy, um, Springfield's website says that the uh, screws included with the optic um, will work with the AOS plate. That is incorrect. Um, you will need um, some 4x48 uh, screws. So know that ahead of time. Um, I'm lucky enough to have an excellent hardware store up the road that uh, carries firearm specific hardware. Um, so I was able to mount it the day I received it. But um, you know, if you weren't aware of that, it'd be something to think about. Um, like I said, 500 rounds through this unit. Um, nothing too serious. Um, you know, I, I did do some. Uh, one-handed manipulation, um, cycling the slide off of my uh, gun belt, um, no issues holding zero, um, not going to do a drop test, I'm not a millionaire YouTuber, um, maybe, maybe I'll mount it onto an old uh, MOS uh, Glock 19 I have. Um, towards the end there when I'm ready to order the EPS maybe we'll do some drop testing then and do a follow-up video but that's it everybody that's the uh, my review on the CT Rad Pro um, at the time of this video uh, the green is available on Amazon for I think 205 which is actually cheaper than the uh, red option so in my opinion at that price point this is a uh, proving to be a pretty good buy. Go ahead and comment if you have any questions and uh, thanks for watching.